Hello and welcome to CGD Games. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a lot of waiting, but an update has arrived on the Xbox and PlayStation today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Harry, the community manager from Green Man Gaming, has written on the Discord. He said today's update addresses feedback from the community targeting memory issues, crashes and some popping. This is live now on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Keep on trucking, keep on exploring, keep on sharing your feedback. Uh, so he goes on to say uh, what the fixes have been. So general, so this is across the board on PlayStation and Xbox. Fixed memory spikes occurring in the truck dealer that could lead to crashes. Fixed the truck dealer selling tab, which could not work properly when selected using the bumper buttons, including inability to sell trucks. Fixed the unresponsive HUD distance meter. And on the PlayStation 5, uh, due to freeing additional memory space, the amount of popping in certain areas of the game can now be reduced. So that's all that's arrived today. I think the Xbox is still uh, a patch behind, uh, unfortunately. Now, I've said this many a times uh, within my own Discord and within the truck, uh, the Alaskan Road Truckers uh, Discord as well. When uh, a new game does arrive on uh, the Xbox, it has to go through a certain process and Microsoft have to certify uh, the updates uh, so it can take a little longer with the first second and sometimes in some in some cases even the third update so if you do have an xbox please be patient for these first few updates uh, we will eventually get them it might take a week it might 10 day it might take 10 days sometimes it might even take longer uh, but if we're patient those updates will come so what i'm going to do now uh, I am going to see if I could get to a workshop, but I'll tell you what we can do. First of all, let's just uh, put a marker down there, uh, and then we can see how these turning uh, things work. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about in today's patch, you look there on the bottom left where the compass is. Uh, so we've got how many miles it is to my destination, and then it tells you uh, how long it is until you turn. So it used to say, was it 142 or 100, blimey, uh, 124 miles. Now, uh, that is cleared. So what I'm hoping for now, more than anything as well, on the PC version, uh, we used to get a little arrow uh, that popped up in the centre of the screen um, that would sort of navigate you um, along your way so to speak so it'll tell you to turn right or to turn left very tricky around here isn't it we haven't got a load on at the moment um so we should get up here quite easily so it's 33 miles until we turn again so we'll just head down here enjoy the scenery together so let me know down in the comments are you still enjoying alaskan road truckers how many hours are you in how many miles have you done uh, what have you unlocked? I've actually unlocked the Class 2 and Class 3 now. I bought a Class 3 truck, uh, but I didn't like it. Its top speed was fantastic, but it was getting to that top speed. It was painful. It was so slow with its, its uh, acceleration. Um, I sold it and got my Class 2 truck back because uh, its acceleration is so much better. It's a lot more powerful at pulling. Uh, getting up hills with a heavy load on so yeah but i'm still really enjoying it nowhere near being tired of the game yet um i'm just just enjoying it so much and it's just so good to have such a fantastic trucking game i put a review out if you've not seen that yet check that out on the channel um i gave it an eight out of ten uh much to some people's disgust but like i said in the comments this is my opinion um, we all don't like have to like the same things. I thought this is the best trucking game on console to date. Graphically, yes, I said in my review, it's not amazing, it doesn't blow your mind, but it does its job, it's got its little charm to it. Yes, there's issues, um, but I can see past those issues for the game that it is. Um, and knowing what the guys are like, here we are, we've got a turn coming up now, so no, it doesn't look like... Um, in fact, it's just 0.2 miles. Yeah, so it doesn't look like uh, those compasses. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm still getting that issue as well. I don't know if some of you guys are as well, where my left stick becomes unresponsive. 
And it usually happens within the first five minutes of me playing the game. It soon warms up. Uh, and then it doesn't happen again for the rest of my playing time. But yeah, anyway. At least that's fixed down there in the bottom left-hand side, which is brilliant. So what I would like to do, uh, which I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, in this video, is I would like um, to get to HQ. But the chances of me getting there are very slim, aren't they? Uh, and I don't think there's a way within my CB radio uh, of actually getting to HQ. Um, I could tow the truck to a workshop, but that's not going to help me. Fingers crossed it takes me down uh, near HQ and we can just drive to HQ, but I very much doubt it. But I didn't really have an issue here on the Series X with it crashing uh, while selecting uh, other trucks. No, it's took me nowhere near, has it really? Took me nowhere near where I need to be. But anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's a patch out. Download it now. It's quite. I think what happens on the Xbox is you have to re-download the game again with the patch. On PlayStation, you don't have that issue. It's a lot easier on there. So yeah, a patch is out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, go and check it out. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments, as always. Be very much appreciated. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button as well. And click that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.